Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Kane Audio vlog. Um, today's kind of a quick and easy one, I guess. Um, especially easy if you've got Bitwig. Um, it's a mid side technique um, where you basically separate the mono signals from the stereo signals and treat them separately. So I've got a uh, bass line I'm working on here. The sound without any mid-side technique sounds like this so it's a pretty basic bass line um, what I've done is I've dragged in a mid-side splitter using uh, Bitwig's built-in one and then I've gone with nothing in the mid signal so that's just default values everything and then if I look at the side I've just added some distortion nothing massive but it's fairly distorted and then some reverb so if I just switch them off for now so you can hear them being introduced um, you can see I've brought the side gain down by quite a bit that's because this distortion unit uh, clips the signal quite heavily so with it as it is now and then with a bit of distortion added in so you can hear that's that's obviously making a pretty big difference and then I've just given it a touch of reverb brought the reverb time down to well, 700 milliseconds and brought the size of the reverb down as well And all that's doing is adding a bit of spatial awareness to the track really um, and it's just a, a quick little trick I, I don't do it very often but it's one of those things that tends to work quite well uh, when you just want to add a bit of sort of high-end presence to something as low as a bass line then uh, rather than adding the whole bass line through some sort of distortion unit or whatever you're just sending the side signals so if you were to listen to it on a mono system you wouldn't really get that effect so you've got to be aware of that as well um, so you've got to be aware that uh, these effects for example may not come across on all systems um, but I'm okay with that because it was just a, a creative thing that I threw in um, so yeah so obviously when it's together if I play you with the mid side switched off so you can hear what it actually sounds like with the track and then with it switched on so you can hear it's not really doing that much and part of the reason for that is because um, I just automate little elements of the bass line throughout the breakdown um, like I say the, the tracks all very sketched out and draft at the moment so it might not even get finished ever but um, it's just one of those things where I was kind of experimenting and playing with different sounds and different well timings as you can tell it's all in triplets um, so I'll just play this breakdown just so you can hear that So that's basically it. Um, it's just one of those things that not many people kind of experiment with mid-side techniques, especially not on the production level. It's more of a, or used to be traditionally a recording technique and whatever. So I've just sort of really experimented with it and just separated the uh, the side signals, which are the stereo only signals uh, within that sound. And then I've just dropped in a few effects like distortion and whatever on top of that. So the bass line is still essentially mono in the low end um, and there's no real interference with that it's clean and smooth it's just at the crisp little tail ends of any um, extended elements or out of phase elements or anything that's in that synth um, those are the bits that just get distorted on the sides basically with a bit of clipping 
that's basically it so hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you next week cheers